Agenda item number one, roll call. We have a quorum present. Uh, absent is uh, Flipper Vega. That's all. No motion. That's it, right? Okay. Uh, do we have any citizens to be heard with regards to the uh, the church meeting? And no citizens are here to be heard. Okay. Agenda item number three, approved minutes of March 21st. 2023. Any discussion on those minutes? I looked over them. They made sense to me, but also I wasn't at that meeting, so unless Deb it's been a while, so <laughs> yeah, I was in a date. I looked at my notes versus the meeting notes, and they looked good. I didn't see any glaring mistakes. Okay, I'll entertain a motion unless there's further discussion. Make a motion we accept the minutes. I'll second it. We have a motion from Josh to accept the minutes. Second by Debbie. All in favor, please raise your hand. Motion passes 4 0. Ten item number four. Discussion and excuse me. Discussion and possible approval for a process for selecting a marketing fund for the city tourist property. I believe this is where the gentleman comes into play.
And if I provide any context what we're discussing here, last last meeting, I know Corey was pushing hard for us to do some development back there. And we talked about uh, the ability to put up a water tower by Walmart, which would improve water pressure for that region. We could use TERS money for it. Now we're talking about selling it, and I'm not, I don't understand the context where that came from. I don't know that we ever, sorry. I don't know that we were ever, the plan was to put the tower actually right there in that property because this was going to be not, uh, well, it was going to be commercial and whatnot. I thought they were talking about the tower behind Walmart, but I, I could be wrong. I mean, I'm just saying, but this was always to be sold eventually so they can develop on it. Some of this uh, to the north of Hondo and the, it's like the northwest of 35's Walmart. That, that, what we're this talking about. this yeah. is, yeah, but right in this, somewhere in this area, I thought is where we were talking about putting a tower. Oh, I, I wasn't it, wrapped up. Let address the tourist board again. Um, uh, since we have some new members of the tourist board, the tourist, um, the city started talking about creating a city tours back in 2015. Um, one of the reasons that they did that is because the tours that the city participated in on the lots of, uh, over in the golf course had been so successful. And the city wanted to do something with the city property. Um, that the property that the city owns on the access road on 35 was the old sewer treatment plant. And um, I don't know, 25, 30 years ago, perhaps just a little bit longer than that, uh, the city moved the sewer plant and expended about $600,000 to clean up the site for, for the federal government, for the EPA. And so the idea in forming the tour was to uh, successfully market that property and get it on the tax rolls and try to attract some industrial or some um, office warehouse, some type of use um, where it would go on the tax rolls and the city would recoup the 600000 that it had spent and it would also encourage development within the city of Dubai. And so that's the reason we did the TERS. Um, we annexed property into the TERS when Walmart came in and, and Walmart is the main contributor to the TERS um, for the city. The county participates in the TERS, but they do not, they excluded Walmart from their participation. So both the city and the county deposit money every year into the TERS fund. And um, it was uh, money in the TERS fund that we used to buy the additional 28 acres that had been for sale for a long, long time. The purpose of buying that 20, 28, 25 or 28 acres was to give us access to Hondo Street. And um, because at that point the city was totally landlocked because the state at that time was uh, extending the access road on I-35, I but they were refusing to extend it all the way down to the next intersection without a million to and city funds. And the mayor and they, uh, at that time, uh, made the decision that that was not a prudent investment for the city. But that's why we have the tourists, is to do something with that city property. And um, uh, COVID is actually what slowed the process way, way down, because when COVID hit, the real estate market just took a dive. And it's now recovered, and that's the reason we're talking about it's time for us to market this property. And so uh, so our, um, our intention tonight should be just to start the process, correct? Yes. Uh, no, can you repeat it for me? Our, uh, our intention this evening with this, uh, this meeting is, is to start this process and get it going. Get it going. We need to get it appraised, and and 
Um, I think the city manager needs to empower, be empowered to interview real, uh, uh, real estate companies with national connections that, um, uh, um, and then come back to the board with a recommendation on which real estate company they would like to list the property with. And uh, I, we met um, with, with uh, local realtors uh, two, two and a half years ago, and all of the local realtors agreed that this needed to be a company with national uh, connections. I have a question then. As we listed for sale, do we have the option to, as a bonus, if, if you choose to buy it, and for development purposes, the city will acquire uh, Hondo access. Basically, how do we mitigate the need to buy road access if it's going to sit in the market for 10 years? Well, if they're not going to buy it if they don't have access. So we have to buy those properties at least. Well, so my question is, can we offer the intent to buy those properties? Are those properties for sale? No. They have been? You'd probably, you'd probably have to use eminent domain, yeah. Mm, we didn't on the other ones, so... Well, we, possibly, yeah. we just have to go make an offer, I would think. But well, right now, and now I think we're just talking about what to do with the property that we own. Okay. I assume it's a good part of it. Yeah. He's, he's saying that you um, um, that y'all would use the church money. Um, we wouldn't come out of the city. We had the church money to purchase the bills. Like we did for the 28 acres. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. But right now, we just need to... Make a motion. To make a motion to empower the city administrator we'll give it a to start time. selection of, right. uh, or to bring us appraise. a selection of appraisal, uh, appraisal, and then, and then authorize okay. Dave to uh, negotiate. Okay, so I said it backwards. Yeah. Have the city administrator go ahead and uh, get the property appraised, and then go, I guess, work with how to find a, 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 a real estate agent. There yeah, we go. Give him the, a Give real estate the, company. Here we go. Little marketing. My, my concern is the, like you mentioned, eminent domain. So where that I don't like, especially if the city has to take property that's, or that's not involved here. Okay, so yeah. I just, yeah, just want to make sure. So. We're talking just about the property we own okay. right now. But if we sell that property, then we're going to need access from either. All right, property. that's probably going to be one of our next steps. Is <clears throat> trying to find, pro but we need to do this first. Yeah, but we need to look for the future. If if somebody doesn't want to sell that property, you're, I mean, you're talking about property that somebody owns to get access to to that backfield. I no, mean, I live on one step. I live on, uh, I live right there, right behind, okay. behind my house. But not all the property is everybody is somebody living either. Like there might be. Yeah, there's some, there's some empty house. There's some empty land and lots. I mean, and that's probably where they're gonna try to get it. I think Hal has already picked out which two. Well, I saw Mrs. Bondale's name on there, so I know there's a, I don't know if she owns that lot next to it, but that's a pretty large section if they, if they want to, whoever owns it wants to sell it, to have access to that field, but, you know, uh, the last time we went through this, I, I was just sitting out here, and I know that the last person that was sitting here was pretty much uh, scared a lot of people. About intimate domain, how they're going to take their houses and all well, that, that stuff. So that's talking a about back, back, back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So I, I just want to make sure that, uh, that that's not going to happen again, especially if I'm on board. We never talked yeah. about eminent domain before, ever. I appreciate your foresight, Mike, and I agree with you. You'll have my support that we're not stealing anybody's property through a force of government. Matt just said that that, that map that he gave you, David. Mm -hmm. it, it shows yes. it shows the the air, where the uh, road right Matt? Yes. One of the maps that you have shows the uh, road in red, and it shows where it comes out on Honda. Yeah. Okay, that's a bit right here, I think. Is that not it, Dora? So that's Miss Bundale's lot right there. She, David, what he sent you, what he sent, what we put in a packet was that 11, at the 8 half by 11, right? That you gave me yes. put in the packet? Yes, that's mm -hmm. the same. That's showing yes, the, sir, the road in red. From Garcia and right. Denise. 
So that's a different property. On the yeah, last where Ms. Bondeo lived, there's another section that's that's empty. That and could I, be what it is. That could be what it is. But it's right between QT Q and uh, Mr. Taylor's yeah. house. Yeah. It's a pretty large section. I mean, uh, I pass by there every day. I don't even look at it, but you know. Okay, here's so. I hear what you're saying, Mike. Yeah, we're come out. But we've so never. Yeah, we're, yeah. That was never ever intended or discussed. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm hoping it's not. I'm going to have to look at the videos, but I mean, if it comes down to something like that, I'd rather be behind that talking to y'all than me telling some. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The first step would be to approach the landowner and ask if they're interested in selling from the city. That's the first step. So, eminent domain is always a last, yeah, uh, last resort on. I think we're uh, we're getting just a little bit ahead in accordance with our agenda. That appears to be agenda item number five. Uh, so agenda item number five is moot point unless we make a motion and approve agenda item number four. Make a motion. I made the motion. Okay. I'll second. Well, we were still in discussions. <laughs> okay, we have a motion and a second. Okay. All in favor of the motion, please raise your hand. All right, motion passes 4-0. Uh, okay. okay, now we'll go to item 5. Now we'll go to item yes, 5. Similar. Um, the next step for property acquisition. Do we want to go ahead and buy a vacant lot on Hondo Street, or two vacant lots on Hondo Street, and, and extend the road like Raul Garcia, the engineer, had suggested that the road be extended? Or do we want to explore purchasing uh, Charlotte Land's property and, um, and taking the road that way? My suggestion is, is that we stick, pretty much stick with Mr. Garcia's suggestion of, of purchasing one or two vacant lots on Hondo. And again, we have the appraisal process before the city could buy them. Uh, since they're not on the market, we would approach the owners and um, and, and get a, um, you know, a price for them. And then we'd have to get them appraised and then uh, purchase them at the appraised price. Now the tourists can, can purchase them for any price they want because even though they're a city agency, they like on the 28 acres that we purchased, we purchased it for the listed price and we could do that because we were using tourist funds. So we don't have to stick with a, um, a, um, um, a, a, you know, we can go with the asking price on the lot if it's a reasonable price. If it's not a reasonable price, I think Mr. Tate would suggest that we could use eminent domain, then get an appraisal and, and pay them the appraised price. I prefer to, to try to negotiate a price myself because cities always get kind of a bad name when they use eminent domain. So um, uh, we could do this through the city attorney's office, let him select the local realtor or let him uh, contact the property owners and see if, uh, if they're interested in selling. And what I can do is um, uh, uh, because we're, we're looking at doing it on a vacant lot, I can uh, go uh, be in the mine and, and give Mr. Kate two or three lots that are vacant, which could, could the road could go through any one of the two or three. And so we probably, we did. What we're looking for here is approval to go ahead with the process and to identify the lots that are uh, uh, vacant and uh, check their availability. And if they're vacant lots, um, uh, I think we, we would, out of three lots, I think we would find one willing owner on a vacant lot because their property values along Hondo Street are not very high at all. Thank you. Will that be uh, 
adequate access to that acreage? Or, or would it be dependent on what gets developed there? It would give it enough room to put a road in. It would be? That's what, that was the original intent was we would have to buy two to three lots to put a road in. And that's what that would be, the whole reason for buying. So right now we're looking at, there's three vacant lots there? I see two on this map, but. Well, he, he said maybe there could be three. Okay. The, the two that are marked here that says, uh, Ms. Wendell, she owns that house and she owns the land, parcel of that land back there where Mr. Wendell used to park his tractors and 18 wheelers and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, That's the very next property down from QT, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, I mean, if it's in a domain that you want to do, you're better off taking that land from QT, you know, because they got a bigger section to drive in, especially from that light. I mean, I'm not sure. See, that's why I don't want to do this in a domain. Try and approach the property owner to see if they're willing to sell. So that would be the first step. We need a motion, correct? Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay. so, so you don't have to decide in the domain right here. No, that's way so long down the road. That's way down the road. We're just getting this going because this property that we own is sitting here forever today. And uh, now, you know, we need to start making it work for us. And this yes. is the first steps in order to make this happen. Okay. I'll make a motion that we have. Um, the city attorney and city administrator work at checking out the available land to purchase for access on Hondo. Okay, we have a motion from, from Debbie that the city attorney and city manager uh, uh, consider the next step for property acquisition on East Hondo. Would it be a step? Sorry. Would it be a step too far to authorize them to make an offer or a set appraisals? and I guess present offers to council to essentially, how do we go about seeing, testing their uh, interest in selling to begin with and get an, an idea on the uh, appraised market value? And the kind of money we're talking about, we'll know what the appraised market value is, I would assume, uh, but, but. Would that be encompassed in, in that motion? I mean, that's listed. I don't see why you need to do that. It's just uh, the next steps for property acquisition. Okay. Um, but if you want to, you can. Well, my concern here is if they don't want to sell, what other options can we uh, throw at JR as far as putting a road in there? Well, we'll can we try out there? They'll find out if there's nothing mm -hmm. then. Yeah. It'll come back to council and then right. if we have to, we'll have a special meeting. We'll I mean, it could be the council and we'll go so into the course for the next meeting. The other question I'd have, you already got a, a four-way light at the Walmart section, then you're going to go down another Maybe Probably 120 yards for another Probably. second light. More than likely. It's gonna be terrible. You know, it's it's gonna be horrible. Probably. Consult a traffic circle. Oh, good lord. We, we'd have to consult the tax dollars anyway. That's Probably, true. You know, they're gonna have to grant us access to 173. So. Well, you know, you, you got a tough decision here. You know, uh, we have limited resources in this city. And this is one of the things that we're able to promote to hopefully get a lot more traffic from 35. Uh, Walmart, obviously, and QT, and this just be another way for us to uh, expand upon that. Everybody wants everything for, for nothing, but sometimes it doesn't work that way. No. So, uh, tough decisions to make, but right now we're just taking steps to, to start the process. Second. Okay, we have a second. Any further discussion? Okay, once again, the motion is to basically to consider the next steps of property acquisition and to empower the city attorney and the city manager to do so. All, right. all, all in favor, please raise your hand. Okay, all opposed? All right, motion carries three to one. Uh, Mike opposed. All right, pass. It passed. Yes. All right, then I'm going to hang up. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Lance. Thank you much. I said thank you. Okay, then item number seven, we need to adjourn. We'll make a motion to adjourn. We have a motion to adjourn by, uh, by Debbie. I'll second. Second by Stacy. All in favor? Aye. Motion carries 4 0. That ends this meeting of the Tax Sector Memory Investment Zone number two. Do we need any type of recess, guys, before we get into our regular meeting? No, okay. All right. Are you good? No, no. Not yet. Okay.